right now there's a gentleman outside called Christopher who is frustrated, he's angry, and he didn't conduct himself in a proper way to ask a question. He is stuck in a circle because he's been moved from EMA to uh, Universal Credit and he's stuck in a six week nightmare trying to get payment for his condition, his rent, whenever he tries to contact someone he's put in a circle of distress. <laughs> And he is one of the least the last of the lost in our community. You Tory uh, fucking bastard! Please communicate with me. You fucking Tory bastard! So if one of you is on IOV, what is your opinion on and what will you do to support people like Christopher from Cedar Court? MPs vote on legislation that makes a difference to people's lives. I voted to protect tax credits and against welfare cuts. Mary, when she was in Parliament, voted for the bedroom tax that benefits so many, that has disbenefited so many disabled people. And she also voted against the impact assessment of the disability changes in benefits. 4.2 million people with disabilities are living in this uh, in, living in poverty in this country. The cuts to disability benefits have, and the changes have caused a massive problem for many, many people and David is absolutely right to point that out. And now we have the rollout of universal credit, Hounslow is one of the early uh, local authority areas to, have, to suffer this uh, appalling crisis. Uh, it is designed that for you to have no money for six weeks after you apply or you change in circumstances. Six weeks is actually generous for many people. My caseworkers tell me that we're seeing people who've waited three months with no money. Oh, they might, if they're lucky, get a hundred pounds uh, discretionary payment. A hundred pounds for three months, that's to cover all your rent, all your food, and, and everything else, and all your bills. No wonder so many people are going into debt, are, are being made homeless, um, and if it isn't causing mental health and disability problems, uh, sorry, if people are presenting uh, with uh, not too uh, major problems, they are certainly getting them as a result of this system. It is designed by people who think that poor people who need benefits are scroungers and shirkers. It is, and when I had a meeting with the DWP representatives and local and, uh, council officers who are trying to deal with this system, it was confirmed that the DWP is under instruction from ministerial level to refuse to pass over any detail at all about anybody's uh, circumstances to the local authorities, to the social housing landlords, and these are the people who are trying to sort out the mess for vulnerable people. How can they do that if the information is refused by the DWP because of the, uh, because of the vicious uh, perspective that the ministers are coming from? It's no wonder that we're getting the situations we're getting. It's no wonder that the Hounslow Community Food Box is having, has seen a tripling of users in the last year and, a, and an even faster increase in the last few weeks as the latest changes have come through. If you do anything else tonight, uh, after tonight, please support Hounslow Community Food Box or any other local food bank. support than others um, and uh, it does need to be assessed. Sometimes that assessment is appropriate, sometimes things go wrong and hopefully people appeal and get the, get the right decision. Um, and many people with disabilities have put into work um, over, over the last few years. Um, but you know I've always thought, when I grew up with my grandmother in a wheelchair and, and I always thought she was an incredible person who had so much to give in life and she lived life to the full. So it's a real thing of where you want to have people with disabilities, um, whatever sort of disability, having a fulfilling life and supporting them do that. Um, but at the same time, with all 
what you need. For those who need the support, they absolutely should be getting that. It's really important. All I'm doing talk about the issue of identity. Um, a, yes, there is the sort of what I would do, David, um, as I would meet with him um, immediately. Um, it's, it's one of the reasons I got involved in the Shelter Project Hounslow because I think it is really important um, for whether it's just any of us as part of the local community to help people alongside us and, and show that we can actually um, try and help them have fulfilling lives too. So I would absolutely meet, meet with them to try and sort out any issues that there are. Um, and a support member because actually, as I said in earlier, a member of parliament is here to serve, serving the local community and helping everyone within the local community, no matter who they are, what their background is, where they come from. Um, and I absolutely commit and pledge to you all here tonight that if you give me the honour privilege of being your member of parliament in a few days' time, um, then I will absolutely serve you to the best of my ability um, and I will absolutely deliver for the local community.